Hi guys, a word of warning, don't bother watching this video unless you've already seen one of the main revived manifold cleaning videos and you're particularly interested in some behind the scenes data. I don't think this draws any particularly helpful conclusions, which is why it's not in the main video, but I did put quite a bit of time into capturing all this information, so it seems a shame to dump it all. It's possible you may find something useful in here which I missed, but I can tell you it's not going to be as interesting as my regular content. So you've been warned, continue at your own risk, and don't then go and give it a thumbs down if it turns out you don't learn anything useful. I wanted to test whether or not the intercooler could remove heat more efficiently after being cleaned with Revive. This vehicle had a catch cat on it, so it turned out there wasn't a heap of oil in the intercooler, and perhaps because of that, there wasn't actually a lot of difference in the intercooler temperatures before and after, which is why I didn't bother putting this into the main video. But it may still be of interest if you're wondering how to set up a similar test yourself, or as an explanation of what I hope to do when I retest Revive on a vehicle with an oily intake. So we know now that there's some oil down inside the intercooler, what we want to check now is how much that's affecting the cooling of the intercooler. So we've removed the air pipe here, and we've got a hairdryer attached to the inlet pipe to the intercooler. So this is the pipe that would normally come from the turbo down towards the intercooler. So we're going to have a hairdryer on there. The intercooler itself sits a little bit hard to see in the Pajero, but the intercooler is that radiator looking thing back in there. So it gets airflow through the front grille, but also from this air dam underneath. So we've got a fan sitting under here, but that'll provide some airflow. And on the outlet side, it comes up here, and we've got a temperature probe sitting right here that's connected to this multimeter and that's going to measure the temperature of the air coming out of the intercooler. The ambient temperature today is around about 25 degrees here in Perth. Right there, there's the red dot on this intercooler. 20 degrees. So they're the, they're the conditions that we're working under. Everything's around about 20 to 25 degrees. So we're going to start the hairdryer with the fan running on full and we're going to set the timer on here to see what happens over a period of time. The 116 degree air going in there, and so, so 46 degrees coming up. So after 15 minutes, it's got to 70 degrees approximately coming out. It's probably still climbing very slowly, but that's probably good enough after 15 minutes to get an idea. So the inlet pipe, still running about 120 degrees, around about 80 degrees. On the intake side of the intercooler, there's a hot side. On the cold side, it's in through that hole. Around about 64, 65 degrees. Intake probe. After another couple of minutes, temperature time to about 73 and a half. Okay, so it's now about half past two in the afternoon, and we've done the full clean with the Revive product, and now we're going to retest the performance of the intercooler to see how whether it's uh, the work that the Revive product has done makes any improvement to how the intercooler works. Now, just to give you an idea of the temperatures down here. The uh, intake pipe's around at 28 degrees. The intercooler itself is still nice and cool. 20 degrees. Temp air coming out of the intercooler. Around at 29 degrees, because that's just the temperature of the uh, things around here. You see there's the probe sitting in the same position. Everything's ready to go. So let's see how we go this time. So see initially the temperature is coming down because the cool air that was already in the intercooler and then we said the intercooler was down to about 20 degrees so the cool air that's in there is now being blown out and then of course we start to see the warm air that's being blown into it start to come back in
So at this point we're going to put the extra fan on. Put both these fans on together now. Okay, we're going to stop it there. Just reminding the ambient temperature at the moment, 24.2 using the internal sensor. We'll just pull this out the way now we're finished with that, and we'll just check what the that what we're thinking should be the ambient air temperature down by the inlet. Well, we didn't measure down here before. It's a couple of made a degree or so cooler than up where the engine is, which is understandable. But it feels like it's from what we've measured, it seems like it's slightly warmer this morning. We had about 26 degrees up here. Oh. It does vary around a little bit, doesn't it? But this is what we used last time, and that was about 26 this morning. So we basically, the air temperature was about 2 degrees cooler coming out of the intercooler, but the air temperature was also about 2 degrees cooler. Now if you've gotten this far, can you tell me if you spotted anything I missed? Could this test setup have been improved in some way? I'd really like to know if you've got any suggestions, because that'll be really valuable when I come to repeat this test on a vehicle with an oily manifold. Thanks for watching.